Hi everybody. Despite the abundance of fully electric sedans, SUVs, crossovers, and even supercars available to global buyers, there are no roadsters other than resto modified versions of existing automobiles. With this vehicle, Wiesmann, a German manufacturer, hopes to deliver the first since the original Tesla Roadster. The first Wiesmann company, which was established in 1988, offered possible evidence of the German sense of humor's existence. Rahian Berry, a British Indian businessman, later acquired the brand and its assets and immediately began work on a new Wiesmann Roadster with BMW V8 power that would carry on the legacy of its predecessors. When Barry made the radical decision to switch the new model to an electric powertrain in order to get ahead of upcoming European bans on pure combustion models, that car had already been largely engineered. Which is why we traveled to Germany to see the prototype of the company. The Wiesmann's new F powertrain has been adapted to the V8 car's fundamental structure. A roading mobility design T shaped battery pack is housed in the engine compartment and what would have been the transmission tunnel. It has a guaranteed 83 kWh of usable limit, and Wiesman is focusing on a 310 mile range on Europe's WLTP trying convention. According to Roding, the battery pack weighs 1,100 pounds, which is only about 110 pounds more than the V8 engine and transmission's combined weight. Common shaft drives two mid-mounted permanent magnet synchronous electric motors, which in turn turn a conventional limited slip rear differential. Drive comes from these two motors. These are pivotal transition engines rather than the standard spiral motion, a setup that conveys better power thickness notwithstanding a generally low greatest RPM of 9000 RPM. Sadly, the prototype had difficulty delivering a significant portion of its muscle for extended periods of time. The sensation of the powertrain derating, which can be compared to running into an unseen molasses slick, was soon delivered by repeated acceleration requests. Project Thunderball was able to stick with the keenly driven V8-powered Wiesmann MF4 over a route of German country roads even when well below full strength. The prototype's defining soundtrack, in addition to wind noise, was a whine coming from the single speed reduction gearing. While this sounded better than silence, it did provide a very different acoustic experience than the sound of exploding hydrocarbons. The Wiesmann has a higher center of gravity than an EV with an underfloor battery pack because the battery pack is tall. However, the car still handles like the company's earlier sports cars and has a seating position that keeps the driver's derriere just inches off the ground. Even though the prototype did not have the sharp, roll-free responses that EVs with underfloor battery packs do, the front end weight and noticeable lean under cornering loads made the reactions feel like those of combustion engines. Project Thunderball still uses paddles behind the steering wheel to adjust the amount of regenerative braking from the rear motors, despite not having a multi-speed gearbox. The rest of Project Thunderball was impressive, although the prototype's powertrain needed more work. The Thunderball was both spacious and comfortable, 
despite the fact that there was nowhere on the door to naturally rest an arm and a lack of elbow room. We are informed that Project Thunderball will indeed undergo full federal approval for sale in the United States, despite the fact that none of the products from Wiesman's initial iteration ever officially entered the country. Although Wiesman has it covered, a Venn diagram of sports car buyers, wealthy individuals who adore traditional design, and enthusiasts who detest engine noise may not show much overlap. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.